So it's February, about seven months ago in July of 2020, I started an investigation because I knew this unit would be coming up and I wanted to be prepared for it. In that investigation, I had a container of fresh water. This is the fresh water right here. Oh, I'm sorry, that's salt water. You know how I can tell? It's got salt in the bottom of it, some undissolved salt in the bottom. This is the fresh water. This doesn't have anything in it. Nice, clean, clear, fresh water, nothing in it. So this, ca this container, and this one too, I left closed so that nothing would evaporate. Water evaporates. Water changes from a liquid to a gas and will expand if the container is left open. If the container is closed, it's got no place to go, so only so much of this water can evaporate it, can evaporate. So I filled each one of these containers, I'm going to set this to the side, I filled each one of these containers with 250 milliliters of water, just checking there to make sure, yep, 250 milliliters of water, and I set them up in a spot in my garage where they have been undisturbed, nobody's touched these since July. Now the question was, would adding salt speed up or slow down the process of evaporating. I knew that if I put fresh water in one of these containers and left it open, that over time that fresh water would evaporate. And you can see that most of this fresh water has evaporated. It's been seven months and believe it or not there's still maybe 10 to 15 milliliters of water inside of that container, which is pretty amazing. This was fresh water. This was my control. I didn't change anything to this. Straight fresh water, left it open. That is my control. What I did change was adding salt to the water. This one has salt in it. You can see it's undissolved at the bottom of the container. And this one, the variable group, this one had salt added to it and the water did evaporate but there's still about 125, about 125 milliliters of water left in this container. So my initial question was, does adding salt to water speed up or slow down, not the dissolving process, but the evaporation process? Now, this particular investigation is an experiment because I started with a question, as all investigations do, but I was going to test that question using a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an if-then statement. If I add salt to water, then the speed of evaporation will slow down. That was my hypothesis. I put these up in July, set them up on a shelf. Nobody has touched them. They've been sitting there. Today's the first day that I've touched these bottles of water in seven months. I have observed them. I have recorded over time using pictures and videos the water evaporating from the two open containers and as I said the fresh water is almost completely evaporated while the salt water has only evaporated just over halfway. So what can we conclude? Well based on our observations we can conclude that if salt is added to fresh water, then salt will slow down the speed of evaporation, which was our hypothesis. We started out to answer a hypothesis. We answered it. We confirmed it. We discovered something else, too. Did you happen to notice all of the salt that has gathered around the top and on the sides of this container? Fresh water evaporates. Salt water, only the fresh will evaporate. The salt will stay behind. It will condense, it will condense, the salt will condense back into a solid and that's exactly what has happened right here. This is salt that has condensed back onto the top and down at the bottom of the container. 
So what happened to the water? The fresh water evaporated, the salt condensed and stayed behind. Only fresh water evaporates and escapes as water vapor. That's very important because that's the ocean's role in storing water on the earth. The ocean stores that water and it stores it as salt water, but when water evaporates, the salt stays behind in the ocean so that the evaporated water vapor is fresh, forming fresh water clouds, forming fresh water rain that is distributed over the Earth's surface. So looking at the differences between an experiment and an investigation, I had not just a question, but a question that I stated as a hypothesis if salt is added to fresh water, then that will slow down the process of evaporation. I tested that hypothesis using a control. I only had one variable, and that was salt in the water. I gathered data, recorded my data over time. I did that using pictures and videos. And I came to the conclusion that salt water evaporates slower than fresh water. Now, the one way that I could make this, well, one of many ways, but one very important way that I could make this a better experiment is by repeated trials. Instead of having just one container of fresh water and one container of salt water, I should have three, four, five, ten containers of each of those. Repeated trials. Now, replication is when you in your classroom or at home Re replicate, you do the same investigation, salt water, fresh water in an open container, closed containers to see that make sure that they don't evaporate, see what happens when they do evaporate. That would be replication, doing it at home or in the classroom yourself. Repeated trials is when I set up more than one of the same experimental setup, or I do this again and again and again, I repeat it to make sure that the results are the same. After all, who's to say, I think that I put those up there and nobody has touched these for seven months. Who's to say that someone didn't come in and knock this over by accident and my experiment's a flop? So in order to validate those results, make sure that those results are true, I would want to have repeated trials. So that was my investigation. Started it in July. The salt water is still evaporating. I think it's pretty cool that these salt crystals have condensed onto the sides of the container up here at the top. So as, that, as the water was evaporating, those salt particles, because they were so tiny, were able to kind of drift up to the top and land here like little particles of snow. And now we've got a little ring of salt around the top, as well as the salt crystals at the bottom. All right. Thank you, guys.